Hello, and my name is Grayson Milborn, uh, the Security Intelligence Director at WebRoot, and welcome to our weekly threat vlog. This week, we're going to talk about system monitors and keyloggers, which is a, a really large segment of malicious uh, programs. Uh, these are applications that are available for PC, Mac, and even smartphones. Um, and they come available in two different types. Uh, we typically will see commercially available system monitors, which are applications that you can buy either online or in the App Store. Um, and these often masquerade themselves as either maybe a spouse watcher or a family tracker or some type of tool to help you keep tabs on someone remotely. Um, we also see another family of uh, system monitors or keyloggers that we like to call black hat uh, versions. And these are typically used by uh, the cyber criminal community to uh, extract data from your endpoint or your PC or your mobile device uh, once infected. And so, you know, this is a certainly concerning type of behavior. Um, and at WebRoot, we've really been tracking uh, keyloggers and system monitors going all the way back to 2004. Um, on the PC side of things, uh, you know, we have well over 1,500 different versions that we track uh, on a month-over-month -month basis. Um, and on the smartphone side of things, we've seen a, a really surprising growth uh, in this form of application. And so for between Android and uh, iOS, we have over 52 different um, uh, spy phone types of apps, um, uh, which incorporates over 10,000 actual application binaries that we've collected. So it's certainly something we see a lot of. Um, and on the mobile side of things, it's even a bigger concern because mobile devices contain a lot of additional information that you wouldn't find on your PC or your laptop, such as your SMS history, um, your GPS location, uh, and a lot of other personal data that people keep on their phones, such as pictures um, and, and contact data. So. Uh, so let's look at some of the numbers that we've seen from our user base uh, to understand how frequent we encounter, or our users are encountering these types of threats. Um, a recent research shows that on the PC side of things, uh, we see roughly 5,000 detections of uh, system monitors on a monthly basis. Um, and on the mobile side of things, we see uh, at least 1,000 detections of these every month. So this leads to the next part of my discussion, which talks about what can people do uh, to protect themselves against these types of applications. Um, thankfully, there's uh, security solutions similar to Secure Anywhere. Um, uh, well, with Secure Anywhere, I should mention, uh, we have a technology that we call the Identity Shield. Um, while we do our best to identify and classify both commercially available and black hat system monitors, we understand that sometimes these things slip through, and so we've developed an identity shield that helps protect uh, your PC even in the face of an infection such as a commercial system monitor. Um, what the identity shield does is it looks at uh, how system monitor technology works and basically steps in the way of them being able to collect the data that they're after. Uh, this also works with many types of Trojans, which again, their main uh, objective is to steal the data from the uh, PC that's been infected. And most often this is looking for your credentials or your login uh, details for different banking websites or maybe your email address. And so what the Identity Shield does is it, it sort of gets in the way and it looks at what applications are requesting. And if we see uh, an attempt to record keystrokes or even uh, screen captures, we block that information from being recorded. So that's a good uh, heuristic way of blocking these types of applications. But there's also a number of security tips uh, that I like to share with users to help keep yourself safe uh, from these types of applications. Um, so one is on your mobile device. You know, mobile devices are pretty easy to infect if you let someone else get your hands or get their hands on your device. And so a good way to prevent someone from gaining access to your mobile device is to use a strong password. And I don't mean a swipe screen, and I don't mean a four-digit uh, lock screen. What I mean is something a little bit more complex. If you increase that to five digits, or even better, six or seven, you make it much more difficult to guess your password and to gain access to your device. Similarly, with your PC, it's important not to just leave it open and unlocked so that uh, a passerby might have access to entering in new information. Uh, whenever you step away from your PC, make sure you keep it locked. And again, use a strong password, as a good password really makes it difficult to break onto a device. All right, well, that's all I have for this week, and I look forward to another vlog up or video log update next week. Take care, everyone.